Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name's Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot, here to do your 2021 yearly outlook, okay? As always, thank you, thank you to all the current subscribers, newbies on board, growth of the channel, phenomenal, so thank you. I have as promised set up the members group, okay, lots of requests for that. So if you are interested in that, I'll be going live for members every Sunday, 9 p.m. UK time, where we'll look at the week ahead, we'll do a reading, live reading, look at the week ahead, uh, and also just be able to chat and talk to each other as well, because you're all just gorgeous. So hit the join button if you're interested in joining us each week. I really hope you do. I'd love to see you all there. Okay, it's a general reading for those new. If you are new to the channel, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Okay, if it does, great. I hope it helps you. If it doesn't, just kick it to the curb. Or if you know someone, it would help. Please do share. And I just want to say thank you, Kirsten, for the gorgeous strength flag that you sent me. And also the beautiful wisdom of Avalon cards that I'm going to use to open your reading, Gemini. Okay, I've pre-blessed the deck. I have got some slots for private readings available if you're interested. Details below. Email me at soulsarantaro at gmail.com. Gemini, here we go. Fucking hell, that hurt, right? Right, you know, it's interesting because this was underneath when I started uh, blessing the cards. Letting go. Gemini, I, you're moving into an energy, I want to say, of releasing. This is coming through in so many signs. Releasing things that used to hold you down. Letting go of that which you can't control as well. And going with the flow. Do you see? It's a beautiful energy. It's like Gemini. I feel you're just moving into more and more, I want to say, of a relaxed state, you know. Um, I listen to the signs. I look for the universal signs. But... I'm not putting big expectations on it. I'm not putting big sort of, you know, upset and anxiety if I don't feel, you know, things aren't moving as quickly as I like. I'm just letting it all flow. Letting go of what doesn't serve me. Letting life flow through you. That's what I feel for this Gemini. Right, it's lovely look. Death card. Yeah, this is the end. End of a major, major cycle in your life. I feel, Gemini, the release of a major... Um, I want to say you're transitioning into a new energy completely. Because it's a little bit like... Um, a death and rebirth i mean there is a birth and rebirth card in here but it just signifies a significant ending yeah and, and, and it's like no longer look because you can see how close it is right because letting go is 44 and death is 46 right it's just releasing and allowing that's what i'm feeling gemini moving into a really happy time in your life because like i say you're not going to be disappointed because it's not that you don't have an expectation of positive things. Of course you do, and so you should. But it's like it's saying to you, I release what I can't control. I control what I can, and I listen for the signs, and I'm relaxed at how they come in, and then you get the butterfly, which is gorgeous. Great beauty here coming in on this journey. Transforming, I said it, and that's what the butterfly is all about. Major transformation for this Gemini. I just feel like it's been difficult with the death card here. It's like the end of quite a troublesome situation. Um, but the troublesome situation was the, to, 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 to strengthen you and you've took lessons from that that's what I feel Gemini and that's why you just it's like the butterfly you're just releasing and allowing the flow now that's what I feel oh Gemini it's lovely look I shuffled these I've just picked it up the devil's on the bottom that's all about release as well this could be a Gemini who's getting rid of a lot of toxic energies or I want to say toxic substances in the life it can be that as well or somebody who's, who's, who's abusing those toxic substances you know you're just releasing the pain of it all moving into a fresh weight light way of being yeah <laughs> you can't make it up can you here you go leading you reading the wheel wheel of fortune which is exactly what letting go is isn't it it's allowing the wheel to turn trusting that there is a spiritual path a divine path divine guidance here taking you through this journey and i'm just going to relax and go with it says gemini that's what i feel this lovely flowing accepting energy right bringing great beauty in your life because i often find when i'm whether i'm working with clients or just through i don't know my own life experiences when you try and cling on to things that clearly aren't working that are hurting you and that can be relationships as well then you're hanging on to misery aren't you 
right? You're hanging on to misery, which is going to make you miserable. So you're just saying, okay, if that's the way it's got to be, that's the way it is. Clearly wasn't intended to go forward. If it was, it'll come back, but I'm just accepting. Not rolling over, Gemini, not at all. It's being very, very spiritual. It's lovely, right? Woo! Yeah, look at this, beautiful, right? The moon facing your fears. Letting go of... It, it's facing your fears by letting go of fear and worry, right? <laughs> no, what do I mean by that? When we let the moon, like the moon's like the back of the head. It's like what we can't see. And, and, and so we can spend days, months and years worrying about things that never happen anyway. You know, so, so what a waste of energy. And that's what this moon is. It's saying, look, can you see? It's like... It, it, it just feels very strongly like you're focusing now on your journey forward and again I'm back to this water here flowing with the energy allowing the sun to come through just it just accepting because the sun's like the front of the head just accepting I can only see what I can only see I can only deal with what I can only deal with that's just how it is and sitting worrying about it does not do me any good it's a waste of my energy that energy could go on to pushing me forward right and that's the butterfly, the transformation as well. It's beautiful, Gemini. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. What have we got? Mm. Ten of swords. No point sitting in this. This is worried out your mind. It's depressed, right? It's 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 the hurt of feeling stabbed, 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 stabbed. Right, I'm done. I'm down. Right, but 10 is good because it's a completion. You, I feel you're really stepping out of this energy as you step through the moon. You know, you, you go through towards the light. Page of Cups here as well, right? This could have been someone from your past, right, who brought this energy into you. Somebody who you know of, messages, you know. I, I'm just feeling that someone's controlling a situation, Gemini, and it may have had you really in a bad situation, Ten of Swords, but as you're moving into the new the new year, you're kind of in a, I want to say a fuck it energy, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be, you know, I'm doing my best to move forward. If that's how that person wants to be, that's their energy. It's not mine, you know. When you've got, because I do feel it's quite toxic, right? When you've got this sort of energy in your life, I always say to clients, it's like, you know, if you imagine, remember, we're all energy, none of this is real, is it? You know, this is 3D. And so when when you've got a toxic person or someone who's trying to bring you down in your life, it's like their words, I want to say knit a cloak, right? This big cloak, and, and they'll put it round your shoulders. So, so whether it's making you believe you know, they're saying you're something that you're not, or you're not good enough, or you're not special, whatever it is, it's like you're walking around with that cloak on your shoulders, but it's not your cloak, so take it off, it's theirs, their opinion, their thoughts, their method of trying to influence or control you, I feel it, Gemini, release it, release it, because they can only do that if you get yourself bothered and worried, that's what I'm seeing, just a much lighter energy in 2021, cards are flying right yeah look three of cups celebration time right celebration time it's mirroring this wheel so this can also be um you know it it, it it can be like two becoming three so i felt it in one of the other regions i can't remember which it was so sometimes it can be a pregnancy for me as well but it's also all about community right and i just feel that you're going to be surrounding yourself with better people better energies energies that suit you energies that want to work with you and support what you're doing not hanging on like i said earlier to energies that make you miserable why would you do that even if you're in love with somebody right but they're hurting you it's easier believe you me to walk away and work through the pain and do your healing than to stay hanging on to that misery no that's not where you want to live your life is it now it's lovely because coming under this wheel is absolutely lovely seven of coins seven of coins is harvest time baby right so you can see sat under the tree but the baskets are empty so it may have been you've been having short harvest this can be pent uh, money because it's coins pentacles um it can be in love it can just be in in sex success in your life as well but it's like i'm still waiting for these 
fucking pentacles to drop in my basket. Well, guess what? They're about to, right? Keep doing the work, gems, because seven is next to the seven is the eight, which is all about keeping that work going, mastering your craft, knowing, knowing when the time's right. It's like they just go drop, 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 drop. But with it presented under the wheel, I think it's imminent, okay? It's imminent. It's like you shift your energy, right? You shift your energy and that's what brings in this good fortune because uh, you release it. You release it to spirit. Yeah, trust in yourself. Absolutely lovely high priestess coming under the moon. This is, this is literally working in the here and now, right? It's what's my intuition telling me at this point in time? Where is it directing me to? Where do I feel? And you can see behind you, it always makes me think of the two of wands. And two of wands is all about different pathways. And that's what I feel. You're connected to spirit now with this death, this letting go, the butterfly, living in, transforming and living in the here and now and going where you feel comfortable. Not where someone else says you should go, Gem. Not where someone else says, or doing what someone else says you should do doing what feels right for you on your journey, right? I feel it quite strongly, Gemini. You are taking back control. And as you do, right, four of coins here, your treasure chest starts to open, right? It starts to open. It's like, because before it is the three, which is the legacy building, which is what I'm feeling with that seven of coins as well. Keep putting your mastery and keep putting the energy into your craft, into your passions. It's going to pay dividends. It really is coming under this ten of swords as you release that depressing energy or someone who's keeping you stuck and down gemini some of you may be leaving relationships going into 2021 but it's for the right reasons because it's time that's what i feel they've not been making you happy look at this now wow gemini two aces have come out together what more do you want right ace of pentacles can you say success lifting the success and what can you see see the muscles and everything here this 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 warrior right remember it's male and female has worked fucking hard to get to where they're getting to but it's showing major success and then with the ace of wands as well i am my own divine masculine divine feminine i can create whatever i want and often can you see it's like you've come, you've come out of this like volcano like energy like i say i just feel it's a gemini who's been pushed and pulled in lots of directions into a calm i do me and it's absolutely stunning two aces together whoever this gemini is who i'm connecting with right the divine are with you high priestess here some of you know it some of you probably haven't got the confidence to trust it enough so i'm telling you you are connected some of you may be becoming healers yourself with the high priestess you know tarot readers rune casters um you know reiki healers whatever maybe moving more into your spirituality and healing others with the high priestess as well right maybe with the moon above it you have been a bit unconfident in it exactly like unconfident you know what i mean not confident in your abilities your powers i want you to know it i want you to know it and feel it yep 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 thank you i want you to know it and feel it queen of wands here following the ace of wands queen of wands absolutely lives it in the fucking energy you know she just does it she goes after what she wants remember it's male or female but she knows what her dreams are she knows what what what, what her passions are can you see here again is it i can never see what it is is it an iguana do you see it round her head you see how it's there in the ace of wands as well yeah just absolutely bringing it to life yeah through you through your work through your energy gemini knowing it feeling it sensing it touching it right dancing i want to say with the universe and you deserve it you fucking deserve it gemini because you've got justice scales are about to be balanced in your favor if you feel you've been through a bad karmic cycle don't worry that's ending with the ten of swords okay um often you know we it because I do feel with us getting to the 10 that maybe we hung on to it a little bit too long, hung on to thinking, well, nothing ever goes right for me. Yeah, nothing, nothing ever works for me. So there's no point in me getting excited and getting positive. And that, that's not how you operate. You push it to, it will happen. It is happening. It's just divine timing. And you're putting that energy out there and it's bringing this balance. 
great karma coming into Gemini's life. Whoever's hurt Gemini in the past with this Page of Cups energy, put you in the Ten of Swords, fucking hell, believe you me, karma's on its way to them, right? Everything goes full circle. Everything always does. Again, it's just a matter of when. Right, for Gemini, please, just tell me more about, yeah, 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 yeah on an absolute spiritual journey, moving out of choppy waters into smoother waters. This is the Six of Swords, and this is Spirit guiding you through, right? So trust that intuition, Gemini. Trust what it's saying to you. Don't, I always say to people, you know, be the tree, like the Empress, when we're talking about Empress energy, she's the tree, she's rooted, she knows what she's about, remember it's he or she for me, knows what she's about, knows where she's going, got her own values, integrity, you know, morals, and works on that basis, doesn't be the leaf that floats between other people's trees, right, don't be the leaf, be the fucking tree, this is who I am, this is where I'm headed, and this is how I'm going to do it, and I will listen to opinions of others, but I'll also make my own mind up on what I feel is right intuition here, right, don't float about on other people's opinions, don't do that, you just end up fucking here, there, and everywhere, right, you got to stay firm, you got to cast it strong to the universe, that's what I want, that's what I want, says Gemini, right, feel it, okay, one more from the tarot, and then I want to take some fairies on this gorgeous Gemini reading, yeah, yeah, told you, right, <clears throat> five of wands, that's exactly what I've just said, five of wands is the leaf, right, <laughs> it's floating between other people's trees, basically, in the wind, one minute I'm doing this, next minute I'm doing that, I'm not sure if it feels quite right, but such a body said I should, this is an internal conflict, internal tug of war. When you become the tree and put your root down, you stop that because you know what your purpose is and you know inside yourself that's the right path for you. Even if the road is choppy, bumpy, scary at times with the moon, right? Scary at times, not sure. But you just know inside that's where you're meant to go. And Gemini, look at this. Wow. Two of cups, divine love, divine union right it's coming over this ace of wands with this three of cups so again it could be a marriage it could be leading to um you know two becoming three uh, or it could just be a solid union whether you're in a relationship now and this is a marriage proposal or it's going to an even higher level you know just devoted or it's a new soulmate coming in but it's like it's all landing at once and they're proving it because they're showing the star wow your wishes being granted right? But you've had to rise up off barren land for this. You've had a lot of healing to do because that's what the star is, star is about and you don't get the star unless you've been through one hell ride. But you've healed, you're rising and your wishes are about to be granted. Oh, what a lovely reading for 2021. Please, spirit, I'm going to go to the fairies for a couple of fairies just to crown this reading for Gemini. It just feels like it's the end of a long, long dark road right that's what i'm feeling at the end of a long long dark road but all the aces are coming in now all the rewards and blessings are coming in now you know it's beautiful look at this now right you've just heard me shuffle the furries and i said there's a divine union two of cups the star wish fulfillment and who's showing together the emperor and the empress fucking hell gemini right, Emperor, King of all Kings, Empress, Queen of all Queens, I talked about the Empress before, be the tree, and the Emperor is certainly the leader as well, very strong, yeah, very firm, knows where they're heading, Empress, yes, I can bring action to that, I can manifest that, I can bring in the ab abundance, this is a power couple, this is as good as it gets in the tarot, Emperor and the Empress together, wow, right, so Gemini, get ready for 2021, because this is the union of two extremely powerful people, right, two extremely powerful people, look at this, <laughs> right, two of summer, with it, falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone, 
Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. Now, I don't think this is an X returning. I'm sorry, Gemini, if that's what you're thinking. I, I don't feel that. Um, I mean, if, if, you, if someone has gone away and done the work, okay, but you've got your free will choice, but I've got a strong feeling this is new love, right? And it, when it's saying don't give up and relationships can be healed, it's because you're not going forward, carrying hold of or keeping hold of things that make you fucking miserable. You're releasing it, you're healing it, right? This is a brand new love offer, right? It almost feels like on one knee, like I said, could be marriage, right? If you, if, if that's, you believe in that. But it says you take on, look at this, the fool. It's your new true purpose. You're embracing it. You begin a new adventure and you trust yourself. Your energy has just become lighter and lighter. And the fool is absolutely all about letting go. Being guided by high priestess, your intuition, but letting go of what you can't control, going forward towards your dreams, trusting, like we said at the beginning of the reading, there's a divine process in play this is how it was always meant to be absolutely boom fucking boom gemini that is how you play it that is how you play it wonderful wonderful reading gems gorgeous invite me to the wedding i'm gonna leave it there all right thank you so much if you did enjoy the reading and you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel help me keep the channel running and um, do join the membership group if you'd like to go live with us every sunday uk 9 p.m um just where we can chat get together and do a reading for the week ahead uh, and if you do want a private reading again details are below let me know by email um to soulsoundtower at gmail.com but wow gemini gorgeous weightless beautiful year ahead with absolute power couple true divine love twin flames the empress and the emperor you cannot ask for more than that boom all right i'll see you soon gems love and light and please stay safe